Hello and welcome to another housing ideas and tips video with Rosa. In this video I'm just going to show you how to make a simple and easy blacksmith forge. I've just done a couple of simple designs here which I'll show you each of them in a second. So for a blacksmith forge I didn't really have any idea how to go about this so I did a simple Google search on the forges and I found a design kind of like this one here which I then incorporated to match the stonework of this house a lot more because this house I'm going to make it into like a blacksmith shop so the forge is going to be over here where, the, where you work and the shop I'm going to do more in here and upstairs I'm not sure what to do with that yet. So first with a blacksmith forge you want to get some of these dark elf bed of coals. I recommend these for a blacksmith forge because they're the only coals that are available in game. And sadly you can only get these from two houses in the game. First house you can get it from the Kragen home which is in I think it's in Stone Falls yeah just over here in Kragen Mall is Kragen home it's just a it's either a small or medium house but it is only 69k so if you get that house unfurnished for 69k it comes with a dark elf bed of coals which is the cheapest you will find getting it in game because you can also get these with Veloth the Reverie this house is more expensive at 323k but players are selling these in guild stores for over 90k if you want to get some extras but because I have both of those houses I have two of these bed of coals but to get one cheap one get Kragen home it's only 69k to get that house even if you don't decorate it you get the bed of coals with it so recommend you get one of these bed of coals or a couple if you want to do a bigger blacksmith forge so this was the first forge design that I made as I said before I did a google search on blacksmith forges and looked at some pictures and saw a design kind of like this which I made here as you can see so simply what I've used is these blocks which are the rough block stone slabs these are from a home goods vendor they're pretty cheap so if you have a house you want to put your forge in that's like a dark stone grey stone colour they're perfect in that type of house so I've put four of these rough block stone slabs just on the side so I've got one there, one there and two at the front here just for this small forge that I've put together 
And as the side uh, support structures, you could say, where the smoke will funnel out side to, I've used more of those orcish brazier pillars. So yeah, I've got one upside down there, another one upside down there, and this one in the middle, I've just left it as it would be and put it there because there's nothing underneath as I'll show you. It's just empty underneath. So it does look realistic-ish like that. So that's simply what I've used there and just the better coals in the middle and I put some more fire underneath it because it doesn't the bed of coals doesn't light up that much so adding some extra fire is good makes it look like a real forge so this bigger one that I have over here is probably the design that I'm going to use in this house as the pillars and other stuff I've used match the colour of the stone in this house which is sandstone I think yellowstone so I've just used some of the Khajiit pillars sorry the Khajiit column spiked these are a home goods vendor item which are cheap as you can see I have a few of them used but I just put this one together pretty quickly well I originally had a, a small one like that but I was playing around because as this will be my blacksmith shop I want like a bigger forge so I might use this design and put it over, move it over here and adapt it a bit later on when I have more time to work on it. So those Khajiit columns spiked. I have, I think it's nine. So I've got two, got one there, got one upside down, same on that side just as support columns and where the smoke will funnel out side to just to make it seem realistic I do have five of the columns there but you don't have to I'll tweak this later on myself but I just put that together quickly and I was playing around because there's not much, there's no like blocks like these ones that are a yellowish color. So I was looking at all the yellowish stone type furnishings that are currently available. And this one here is the Moonmont Lunar Altar. It's an achievement furnishing for one of the achievement vendors. I saw that and thought it would be great because of the like you got the altar in the middle but the sides are you can use on the side which is what I did here as you can see. I'm just using the side bit like that which works really well. The bottom of these do have nothing so but it, you don't really notice it because you got the better coals there well you kind of do but if that doesn't bother you on the side there and of course because they're facing out this way you don't see it 
at the back but that doesn't really bother me so yeah they work perfectly on the side like that so I put one there and one there and two on the side there they work really well in here with the stonework and it makes the forge look bigger but as I said before I had a small one like that so if you only have one bed of coals available to you you can just do a small forge and yeah you'll make it work for yourself so that's simply what I've used there and yeah more bed of coals and for the fire here I've just used a New Life Bonfire from the New Life Festival. I think it's 10k this fire. It's an achievement item. I just put that underneath there and tilted it on the side so the smoke looks like it's being pushed out the side because this fire as you can see has a lot of smoke coming out of it which I will probably use with when I put together my proper blacksmith forge works really well there uh, this bellows here I'll probably buy a couple more of those they are the smith bellows they're a blacksmith achievement item from any blacksmith vendor in the game so yeah I'll get a couple more of those and when I properly put together my forge I'll get like tools hammers and all that stuff and a blacksmith station of course so this forge design I've done here is more of an open plan um, I just put some of those red guard fire pits in there just to show you as an alternative if you don't have the bed of coals it kind of works but not really if you just make this smaller I guess but yeah I recommend you using the bed of coals here as I've designed it to fit the bed of coals I'll just move those out the way I'll leave that one there just because I don't have much lighting in this house so yeah I designed it to fit two bed of coals on the side like that just so for an open forge concept if you want to do that using more of those rough block stone slabs so yeah I've used quite a few of them like 10 of them 3 on this side, 3 on that side, 2 there and 2 there so yeah if you want to do more of an open forge concept like that you can adapt it to your own needs um, up here for the weather if you do an indoor forge you want somewhere where the smoke and heat will rise up out so I just used some scavenge plate wires which are from the Clockwork City home goods vendor in the Brass Fortress so I've used four of them on an angle and they do overlap a bit but I think it I think it looks good like that looks kind of fancy so yeah I'll probably uh, end up using this idea for the funnel here just to get rid of those five that I've used there but as I said before I'll be playing around more with my forge later on when I 
really start to put this shop together. So yeah, I thought that would be a good idea to have an open forge concept like that. But because this house is not that big and I'm going to put my own forge over here in this corner. I can't really use this design but if you yourself are doing an outdoor forge you could use this or if you have a bigger working area to put yours like a bigger house without these pillars in the way to put an open concept forge like this it'll work really well and of course you can make it bigger you just have to get more bed of coals or you can probably find other types of fires like this that you could use this small one here that I've put together is similar to the one over there just the doesn't have the side columns it's just more open and I've used different blocks here as you can see just the rough block dark stone I just did that because there are different blocks available that you can use to put together your forge or other furnishings that you can use yourself. There's some light stone blocks. Oh, there's more rough type blocks. Or you can even use the statue square bases on the side if you have a couple of those. But I only have one, so I can't really use those. Whatever will fit in your house will work fine. Just make it work for you. Like I've seen other players forges and no forge is the same. Everyone takes the idea for themselves and makes it their own. So that's just some simple blacksmith forge designs that I put together uh, if you go around in game you will see different forges at the blacksmith crafting areas but I recommend that you yourself just go to some places in game where there's a blacksmith crafting area and just look at those forges because they will help you to design your own forge. I'll be using this one which I will work on a lot more which you will see in another video. So I hope this helps you put together your own blacksmith forge. And as always, if you have any questions, just ask those below and thank you for watching.